We're referencing uh, the crews in southern Arizona quickly battling or battling that sawmill fire. That's the name of that fire. Yeah, uh, we just checked, by the way, with crews moments ago. It has now burned about 20,000 acres just south of Tucson, and about 80 people there have already been evacuated. Let's take a look now of a map of where this all is. Green Valley is about 30 miles south of Tucson down Interstate 19. 3 TV's Jeff Van Sant joining us live tonight with the latest there. Jeff. Yeah, guys, I believe all eyes are on the weather to see what exactly we'll do, especially tonight and into tomorrow, because it has hampered some air support throughout today. So that's really helped this fire grow. So in the meantime, this fire is going to continue to expand and evacuations will continue. This is Stanley and this is Tinkerbell. Jane Hammond had to evacuate her home as fire crept towards her property. I just saw the flames just coming and then we were gone. She left with her animals, including these guys. This is Gracie. The wildfire's growth exploded. Close to 100 had to evacuate. I have a long lane and I kind of stopped at the end of my lane and thought, what's it going to look like when I come back? The fire has scorched thousands of acres. Dry brush and grass goes up in flames fast. It's even made worse with gusting winds. So fast that the much needed planes and helicopters were grounded. And that's one of the biggest factors that we're kind of dealing with uh, on the incident today. For others, it's about preparation. If possible, water everything down and just keep everything as wet as possible around the house. All pray the fire will die down. I've been here 17 years and it's never happened. So yeah, it's scary. It is scary. So at this point, there's about 350 firefighters that are dealing with this blaze. Again, it's all about the weather, where these winds will be by tomorrow. That will really determine how firefighters will take action. Back to you.